Hi, welcome to week two of DevCamp. This week we're getting started on CSS. This is video 2.2, which gets us styling colors with CSS. If you haven't already watched the week one videos or the other video from this week, you might want to start there. So now that we learned what CSS is, let's try some out. We're going to change the background color of our page. All right, so let's head over to Glitch and find our styles.css. First, we need to write our selector. The little bit right here that tells what we're going to style. So I'm going to make some extra space here. We want to find the selector that selects the entire page. And the element on our HTML that controls everything we can see is the body. So in our CSS, we're going to write body for our selector. So notice in CSS that we don't have to write the less than and greater than that we use when we write in HTML. Next, we're going to write some curly brackets. And Glitch will helpfully write the end one for us after we write the first one. And then we write our value and the property we're going to change. So in this case, we're changing the background color. So we're going to write background dash color, a colon, and then the value I want to change it to. So I'm going to say red. And then we end each declaration with a semicolon. So let's check it out. Go to show next to code. This is a very red background. But it would be helpful to know a little bit more about how color works so we can pick the right color for your website. So color can be set in three ways in CSS. You can use a name like we just did. You can say red or yellow or green. You can use RGB, which stands for a red, green, blue value. Or you can use a hex code value which is another way of picking the amount of red, green, and blue to mix to make a color. There's a lot to unpack here. For now, what we'd like to recommend is to find an online color picker, like htmlcolorcodes.com, and get a color from there. So one important thing to understand here, though, is how these RGB things work. Color on the web is set by picking different values of red, green, and blue. You can see them here on the side, R, G, B for red, green, blue. These values can go from zero, which is totally off, to 255, which is all the way on. So for a pure red, I would say 255 R, zero G, zero blue. And then I would copy and paste this value right here into my CSS code. So let's use this to pick a background color for your site. Start by scrolling the rainbow selector here to find a hue you like, and then pick a shade by clicking in the big box over here. I'll pick this nice blue. Now I'm going to copy this right here. Control C to copy. I'm going to go to my CSS, and I'm going to say R G B A parentheses. Control V to paste in the color there. So you might be wondering what that A is right there, right? We have R, R, or red, green, blue, but we're missing an A. So the A is for alpha, or how transparent the color is. This goes from zero, which is totally transparent, like you can't see it at all, to one, which is totally opaque, like you can't see through the color. We could use this if we wanted to make it so you could see through an element. We could set it to 0.5. And then if we say had a picture in the background and we wanted to show through, you'd be able to see the background through there. For right now, I'm going to set mine to 1, so it's a solid blue. Go ahead and pick a color for your page and add it in. So let's learn another property we can change. Funnily enough, color is also a property you can set in CSS. But uses a property, it changes the text color what the words look like. So here's what it looked like if you wanted to make your text red. You could just use the name red. You could use RGB or hex and turn the first value, the red, all the way up and turn everything else off. So 255, zero, zero. So let's add a new rule that changes the color of your headings. So heading over to glitch, I want to add a new rule that's going to change the color of my headings. These big words over here. Thing is, when I look at my HTML, I have H1s. Oop, 
right here, and I also have H2s. So how can I style them both? Well, since this has a nice trick, where if I use a comma on my selector, I can select two things at the same time. So I'm going to say H1, comma, H2. And then I'm going to add my new declaration. So I'm going to say color, colon, RGB, 255, 255, 255, which is white. And put the semicolon behind it. Check it out. It'll turn all white. Go ahead and try it on your page. Pick a color from the HTML color codes website and then apply it to your headings, your paragraphs, whatever you want to do. Great work. Now that you've got an understanding of color, head on to video 2.3 and we'll start working on text. See you there.